Hello, this is Stephen Cook again. I uh, wanted to talk to you in this video about set. Uh, the importance of set, that's what most people go, uh, go to after a certain amount of time as they, as they learn more about blades. Is they're already, always very uh, critical about set and set is very, is very critical, it's important. But I'm going to try to help you gain a, a little bit more understanding about set. Uh, some maybe a little tricks that you can do that'll, that'll help you out as well. Uh, a lot of people don't like to set their blades. Uh, this is a job that most people are willing to do, but they kind of hate that job for whatever reason. Um, but to begin with, you have, as you look into the face of the blade, you have a, a right hand uh, blade, uh, uh, tip. Uh, you have a left hand, this one's left, right, and then a straight blade, a straight tip. And then it again, left, right, straight, left, right, straight. And it, it goes that way all the way around the blade. And so set is important because what it does is, is it gives you your kerf, we call it. Uh, and it's, it's bent, that, that tip is bent um, about, uh, and we'll talk about this, but about 22, 24 thousandths. And, um, and that cut, makes a groove to clear your blade and, and take sawdust out, make sawdust. Well, the gullet actually is about taking the sawdust out. We'll talk about uh, at a different time. Uh, but the average of, of blades that are set are going to run in 22 to 24 range. And I'll tell you some of the things that we like and prefer and some things we've learned. Uh, in the winter, where you've got frozen wood, uh, a lot of time the uh, people who are running resaws or even sawmills, they like a little less set. Sometimes they like it down around uh, 18. And uh, the reason for that is it drags the sawdust out a little bit better. <clears throat> In, up north, the boards will freeze back together if the sawdust stays between them. So you're making less of a curve and, and the sawdust uh, doesn't spill over the side down here and, and stay between the boards and leave it behind. And that's the purpose of that. The purpose of having more set is it, it opens it up and, and you can saw a little bit faster if you have the horsepower. And um, that, that uh, lets you get on down the log, but it does spill over the sides a little bit more. Um, mentioning horsepower, the less set you have down to about the 18 thousandths uh, set, uh, right and left again, uh, you can, it takes a little less horsepower with less set. Uh, if you have plenty horsepower and it's warmer weather, not frozen logs, um, I like even more set, personally. If I'm on saw, I like to set that thing around 28 thousandths. If you're sharpening and setting your own, you might want to consider that again in the warmer weather because what happens, just a little tip here, as you saw, uh, it's not pushing the set out. Uh, it is wearing that very tip corner uh, off and it's rounding it up just like a, a, a knife blade gets dull or a circle saw blade gets dull it's that little outside tip on a, on a circle saw blade you got two sides that's going it's that little outside tip that little outside tip and right hand left hand if you've got uh, it's just that little tip where it's sticking out that's getting dull and when it rounds over your blade is dull and that's why you should really stop and uh, sharpen your blade uh, every uh, three or four hours if you're wanting to get longer life out of your blade. It'll continue running, but it goes from, uh, Tim likes to say, it goes from the very best to the worst to where you can't run it anymore and it's going to dip and die. Well, you should really stop it at half or three quarters <laughs> before it gets totally dull and sharpen it. Two things happen. You don't have to sharpen as much, as much but it doesn't stress your blade as much either. Um, but by setting a little higher, 26, 28, 30, uh, you can then come back and sharpen with sharpen from the face and, and get that sharp, especially if you don't run it way too dull, and you don't have to set every time. And as I mentioned, a lot of people just, that's just something they don't like to do. And you can get two or three sharpenings without having to set it again. We like our blades around 24 thousandths. We've got in that range and uh, everybody wants to, uh, we, we build a belief system or that's how it's always been and we don't want to change. But you can go, we've even done experiments, you can run a 35 thousandth set. You're going to leave more sawdust behind and it's a little more than you have to. It's going to pull more horsepower, 
but you can do more as long as you're setting them pretty close to the same on each side. Uh, you can hunt even on up in the 35 uh, thousandths range. I'm not suggesting you do that all the time, but you can if you had a special need or just wanted to, and, and you can sharpen it more times as because each time you sharpen, the, the set moves down. But some people will go, oh, it's, it's 30. Uh, well, it'll saw at that, but um, the, the standard is more in the 24 range. Uh, but again, if I'm sharpening, I'm going to set that thing up around 28, and I like more horsepower, and I'll get, to, I'll get to sharpen a few more times without having to set it as often. One other thing I'll add real quickly um, is, is our blades are, are what we call tip set, real high up, uh, as high as we can, uh, and then that, that tooth is hardened. Uh, when you are setting it in your shop, you have to come a little further down not all the way to the gullet, but you have to get in the lower part of where you see that black or that hardening, and you have to bend a little further over. And that makes, a, instead of where we try to bend here, you're going to be bending a little further down here. If you try to bend it after we've already set that hardness, and way up at the top, it'll snap off. So uh, that's just the physics of it. So you'll have to get moved down a little further and bend it at kind of like the second knuckle, a little bit further at the base of where that hardness is or it'll snap off. So that's a little important tip as well. So I hope you enjoy these videos and we'll try to keep producing some from time to time.